What's going on guys, MG here, and I'm back with another cryptocurrency video. This time, we will be talking about Luxo, okay. Flexing Online version 3.0. What do I mean, what, what do I mean by that? I don't know, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's move ahead and find out. So, the current state of social media. So, right now, as of now, at the, at the recording of this video, we have, you know, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, etc., right? We all know those names. We all hate them. And also, we all can't stop using them, right? They are all centralized. We already know this, right? Influencers have taken over culture, okay? Uh, I know some of you out there may agree or disagree, but I mean, if you just take the time to look in the news cycle, it's, as well as our cryptocurrency news cycle as well, it seems that people tend to base their beliefs and everything on what fit what famous person a said or what rich person b said and uh that's pretty much what's happening in today's culture right let's uh let's be honest about that nft mania okay we don't have to go very deep about this um non-fung uh, non-fungible tokens are the wave this cycle in fact i even think it's even more than DeFi, but you know that's my personal opinion, but uh, we are deep in NFT mania, and it will not stop. Virtual worlds, okay, and the items within these virtual worlds, the value has been increasing steadily. In fact, in 2019, Forbes predicted that the NFT marketplace, as well as virtual items, just the entire market capitalization of these Assets, these virtual assets will be 200 billion by 2021. We've actually gone past that, guys. We're well above half a trillion dollar market cap in terms of these virtual items. You know, we have CSGO, Fortnite, Valorant, um, League of Legends, just to name a few, right? I mean, it's been a while since I checked uh, CSGO stash. The last time I was there, this op, which is a sniper rifle, it's called a Dragon Lore. The last time I saw it there, it was retailing for about 5,000 USD. Okay, so this is some big money, guys. All right, there's nothing to scoff at, right? And of course, all social media currently is on Web 2.0, you know? I mean, we had Voice coming out with EOS, but... uh who knows what's going on with that coin since Dan Larimer left. So, still on Web 2.0. What is digital fashion? Okay. It's a way for customers to further interact with their purchase. What do I, what, what do I mean by that? Uh, you could put it on, you know, virtually, digitally. You can... You can put on your item. So think of it as like what Luxo is trying to do, and they've done already. They've they've built these whitelist apps. Think of it as like your character in World of Warcraft, Sword Tour, whatever MMO you're playing, right? You have the character screen, okay? And it shows your loadout, if you will, right? You have your shoulder armor, your cape, your chest, you know, your main hand, off hand, that type of shit. That's essentially what digital fashion is going to be, and it's where it's going. And that's where Luxo is building that foundational layer so that developers can create this shit so people can get into it and flex. And that's that's how I'm seeing it. And it's and it's and it's prevalent in video games now, like World of Warcraft, for example. They they have this metric called eye level, which essentially rates how valuable that armor that the said character is wearing, the higher the eye level number is, the more valuable it is. So in a way, and not in a way, it's actually going to be that way. That's where Luxo is going, and that's where digital fashion is going. A lot of these P 
people are going to be having these loadouts of their purchases, right? And again, augmented reality is going to be on the forefront of digital fashion, okay? What's really cool about Luxo and what they're doing is these at these dApps that are gonna, they're going to going to be building. So, say for example, you buy some Gucci, right? Some Gucci gang, some some Louis, whatever, right? And it's going you're going to have the physical piece as well as a digital signature confirming that this piece of clothing is legit, verified on the Luxo blockchain, right? Then you can put that that digital item on yourself and post it online, both video and photographs, okay? And the way that that's done is through AR, where that piece that you bought, that, uh, you know, your body's dripped in Louis, so you got all that shit on, and then boom, you can just post that online and flex, right? To people who don't even fucking like you. And uh, AR is pushing that. Virtual worlds, okay? Like Decentraland, for example, is one of the many that I can that I, one of the many virtual world decentralized games that are out there right now, uh, built on Ethereum, of course, and, you know, ERC, ERC 725 is directly compatible with Ethereum because it's built on the Ethereum stack, okay? It's not on the Ethereum network, it's built on the Ethereum stack. It will allow for copying your avatar with your digital clothing into the game. So, you know, like Second Life or PSN, uh, PS, uh, what is it? PlayStation Home, I love that shit, right? For PlayStation 3, where you have all, your body's dripped in Louie, you know, maybe you'll switch it up with the Gucci. And you can just just be in those worlds and just flex. And people will look at your profile, see, see that your shoulders, your chest piece, <laughs> and your legs are all legit Louie, okay? It's all legit, fucking YSL, all that shit, Burberry coat. It's got the check mark, legit, right? That's gonna be a thing. Those the next gen is gonna eat that up, and I'm and I'm sure current gen as well. Universal profiles. Okay, let's let's take a step back again. All social media in its current state is built on Web 2.0. We know this already, right? still susceptible to hacks, okay? Because, you know, high-level Web 2.0 has a server where it stores your credentials as well as your password, and then when the user is on the website interacting with it and they credentialize, it will then send that message back to the server, validate against that, making sure that that password is correct, and then let the user in, okay? Very simple, right? Luxo will create the foundation for Web3 profiles, decentralized, but then it will have the skin, it's funny, we're talking about skins, it will have the skin of Web2.0. So it will be more, I think I mentioned this in my previous Luxo video, a more palatable, a more digestible way for the everyday person to interact with blockchain without thinking about it, you know, because that's the best, that's the best UX where you, do, you don't even know that you're on blockchain and it's secured, but it looks like Web 2.0, right? And this is going to be all managed by smart contracts. Okay, I'm not going to get into the technicals of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can go to the ERC-725 Alliance and read the uh, technical documentation that Fabian, as well as other developers, have contributed to that standard. You can read that later on your own time. Okay. So why am I bullish? Okay, why I'm bullish on all this, right? NFTs, virtual items, okay, we're, we're no longer a gaming fringe niche, okay? Like, years ago in 2012 when I was playing CSGO and then when they finally implemented skins and all that other shit, like, that was a fringe thing. It was just like, oh, okay, these, these turbo nerds here are paying tons of money for virtual gun skins. Like, okay, that doesn't make any sense to me, right? So now years... Seven years later, it's no longer fringe. It's real. Like, people are flexing that they have these ritual items, okay? Because we're all connected online. The next generation of influ influencers, you know, and current 
influencers. They will enjoy flaunting online. Like, again, just like the World of Warcraft metaphor that I that I mentioned earlier. It's like, it's just, you're, you're just there flexing with all your finery on. And then, you know, as dApps get developed and people can look at your at your character screen, just like in WoW when you inspect, you can see like, oh shit, he's got the YSL hat and it's got the check mark because it's it has a digital signature. It was purchased at, you know, Issei Laurent. Uh, he's got the Gucci, the real Gucci. You know, the Burberry shit is real, right? The Versace, you know, Versace, Versace, Versace. That shit's real, right? So it's it's going to be interesting, you know, if you think about it. that like that If you're a much older, okay, you know, don't feel bad if you're if you're not piecing it together. It's okay. You know, there are some things that younger kids are into that I'm just like, what? But you know, th this is just where it's going. You know, and it's 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 going to be interesting once it really starts happening. It's already starting to happen with NFTs. The next generation will value digital wardrobe as much as physical. Again, the World of Warcraft comparison. Like people, in some ways will value your digital wardrobe more than your physical because the physical piece you could only wear that expensive shit on special occasions you don't want it to get wrinkled you got to send it to dry cleaning all the other shit protect it from moths where the digital wardrobe will always look good will always look pressed as if you have a full stylist with you on you're on a fucking photo shoot and your shirt is just never wrinkled right so the next generation will value your digital wardrobe more than your physical, I think. Next generation will wear their digital signature of authentic of authenticity like a badge of honor, just like that stupid check mark on your Twitter profile, your Twitch, your Theta profile, whatever. The next gen will value that and be like, "Oh, this is this is real. Dang. This guy is dripped in Louis and it's real." You know, he's got the check mark. That's real shit, right? The, the next generation will value that kind of stuff. It's like, it's crazy. It's not crazy, but it. you, you guys know what I'm saying. Huge support. So Luxo has huge support by ma the major fashion industry and social media hubs. They have Chanel, Burberry. You know, we don't have to talk about this. We I already mentioned that in the previous video. Check it out if you haven't. Nike. Also, the uh, social media... Sh uh, strategist from instagram is on there right so this is gonna this is gonna be huge and it's, it's gonna be fully promoted once luxo's mainnet is launched and this is only the beginning guys this is literally only the beginning once luxo deploys their mainnet and they do all the cool stuff which uh one thing that i'm really bullish on is the self icos for creators i might do a video on that a little bit later that's a very very incredible piece that looks i was going to build and this is just the beginning guys okay so thank you guys so much for watching again you know what i'm saying i appreciate every one of you i appreciate that you i appreciate your time they're giving to me i hope that this will help you in your journey okay with uh, Luxo, should, should you choose or not to choose to invest? And you guys know that I'm fully invested in this shit, right? And I think Luxo will succeed, okay? I mean, again, like I said in the previous video, I don't think we're going to be seeing those four-figure price points until a couple years from now. But who knows? This is crypto, baby. I could be wrong, and... Who knows, maybe next year, Q1 of 2022, Luxo will be sitting at a valuation that is the same of Polkadot or Polkadot or Cardano or hell, even Ether. It's going to be a top 10 coin. You guys know. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, again, be careful out there. Don't invest more than you can afford. Don't be over leveraged. Stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.